And we're back with some more oxygen not included on rhyme. And today, well, I think we'd start off today with uh, cleaning up these Dreco farms. I have been, you know, letting these Dreco farms provide us with some uh, reed fiber and a little bit of plastic for a while. And I was going to just decommission them, but I thought, eh, let's just expand them out and put them into some proper, mm, some proper farms. When we originally set these up, we didn't have much access to, well, Atmo suits and a few things, so maybe we can put together some proper proper Draco farms because I've never actually done that before. So I thought what we do is we lay it out over here. And this here will be the start of it. It's not going to be too complicated. We're going to go with something very simple. I need about six bam lilies to make sure I can feed these uh, the Dracos. So I'm going to put in six bam lilies here on the ground floor. Then I'm going to have on the second floor the actual shearing and the grooming stations. But I'm going to try and keep the very top half of this in, or the top most of it in hydrogen and only the bottom part of it in chlorine. And do I have a ladder over there? Yes, I just want to make sure my dupes can get in both sides. So there'll be chlorine down the bottom, hydrogen up the top, and that should keep the Drecos mostly in the hydrogen so we can get some shearings out of them. Do we need the shearings? Eh, maybe, maybe not so much, but it would be nice to try and uh, to do a decent farm on them. Oop. And put in some hydroponic tiles here. Or uh, farm tiles. I don't need hydroponics. Great thing about bam lilies is bam lilies can be grown in farm tiles and they don't need any fertilizer or anything. All you need to do is make sure they're in a chlorine atmosphere and they will grow forever. And basic Drecos can eat them. And where is the diet? Uh, diet, pinch pepper, nut, bam lily, and mealwood. This means I won't be getting any plastic Drecos, but honestly, I have, what, 200 tons of that stuff around? Uh, plastic, 228 tons. I don't need any more. I'm good. I'm good for good for plastic for a long, long time to come. Uh, once this is finished up, we can start on the next part of the plan. Due to the way this all worked out with the tiles being placed where they are, this room was too big. It came in at about 100 tiles. So I need to block off four of them so we get it down to 96, which turns it into a ranch. There we go, stables. So now we actually have a stables up and running, and this also gives us space for the critter drop-off. This is... Mm, the reason for this vertical design, or going as vertical as you possibly can, is just to make sure that as much of the room is full of hydrogen as possible. Now, the next step is to replicate that design. We want about, I suppose, three stables. We'll go with three stables, the same as we went with before. Would you look at that? Someone managed to get themselves entombed. Black Widow. Oh, come on, Black Widow. You even got a movie coming up. You can't be letting yourself get cut out like this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That, that's the first time I've seen uh, a dupe get entombed. This... Wow. Okay. Black Widow, again, she just doesn't want to stop. Okay. Well, um... Okay, we'll get you out of there again. Just uh, try to maybe leave now. Come on, you can someone to get that tile for. You know what? You're just going to end up trapped there, aren't you? You can't get out of there until someone finishes that uh, ladder segment. Never mind. Uh, we'll we'll continue this on. Hopefully, no one else gets entombed. Done and dusted. Only one problem encountered. Uh, that problem would be I don't have any bam lily seeds. Turns out I only have four for some reason. I don't know if they're just not present on this map. And the only ones I have, I've gotten from the gate. That might be a reasonable explanation. Which means I'm going to have to breed them. Or grow them, harvest them, grow them, harvest them until I, I start getting some more seeds. I need to get all of these planted up. That was, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I really was not expecting that in the slightest. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to double wall this in. We're going to have to heat this whole area up to get the families to survive. They need to have a temperature of 35C or above. So yeah, double liquid lock, wall the whole thing in. I might have to put in, hmm... You know, I'm going to have to put in an extra area at the back for the excess ones that come out. Though I might want to leave that until after I've got the bam lily set up. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave that for a bit. We'll just, uh, we'll get this basics finished. Quick vacuum job. We're going to remove all the gases from out of here. We don't want oxygen. All we want in here is hydrogen and chlorine. And we're going to add them ourselves once this whole place has been vacuumed out. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, I should probably set up where I'm going to drop off all the excess um, eggs. I'm only going to need a small amount to run this, and all the excess ones can be dropped off to the side and that grow wild for multiple shearings. So maybe let's stick in one of those just over here somewhere. All the vacuuming done. We've got the whole thing emptied out. There's no gases left whatsoever. Now we're going to fill it up with hydrogen. Uh, I've got this gas pipe pump coming in here, and we've just got some regular gas vents. Not the high-pressure ones, just regular. Oh, which reminds me, I should recycle those ones. It should all go. Uh, just, yep. Yeah. Just some regular pressure gas vents, so this will give me two kilos of hydrogen pressure in here, which is what we want. Then I'll put in about, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, about 14 kilos of chlorine in each room. 
And that should settle along the bottom and give us a nice layer of chlorine around here to allow the, the plants at the bottom to grow. Oh, and where is the hydrogen coming from? Well, remember a long, long, long time ago, we uh, were using this to generate a bunch of hydrogen for power so that we could get the... Uh, what was the achievement? Yeah, there was some achievement we were trying to get. I can't even remember. Well, now we're going to plug it back in again. Okay, uh, what's missing? Mm, something's not plugged in. Uh, power's there, power's there. Oh, yeah, we should be good to go. Why is this not running? One second. Oh, disabled by automation grid. That would explain it. On you go. There's a lump of brine right there, which I'd rather not get pumped up. Yeah, I think we're good. Mm. And it kicks off, and on the bright side... I do have a gas filter put on this. I'm really glad I included that gas filter. It just means I can fire this up without a care. And after a while, it will even out. Yeah, there we go. It's now 100% up to speed, but I didn't have to worry about, you know, disconnecting this and reconnecting it when the time came. That's going to get us all the hydrogen, or ne hydrogen we need to get started on filling this area up. Oh, yeah, this is where I was doing some of my playtesting to figure out how I was going to do this. Mm, yeah, it ended up close enough to that design. I'll just delete all of this stuff and get rid of it. There we go. All done and dusted. Uh, next step. Ooh. What have we got coming out of the gate? Uh, ooh, three shovels. Oh, I do want some more dupes, but... Shovels? Free shovels? Yeah, I gotta take the free shovels. I'm slowly but surely accumulating a bunch of shovels, which are ending up up here inside this shovel farm. We have quite a few. It's an awful lot of free meat, uh, assuming I finish off sealing them in. Oh, uh, but yes, uh, down here... All of that is filling up nicely. Soon we'll have two kilos of pressure throughout the whole thing and we can get on with uh, making ourselves a nice little Draco farm. Everything is now, well, not quite done, but we've got a lot closer to where we want to be. Next up, we want to put some chlorine in here. Because of the way we've been playing so far, we have some fun stuff we can do in terms of getting chlorine in here. We should just be able to find... Uh, no, not bleached stone. We want frozen or liquefiable. There we go. And let's grab some chlorine, and we want to have about 2 kilos for each bottom tile, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 kilos. 14 kilos of chlorine. Uh, yeah, that seems about right, and we will copy those settings to the other two. And then we should end up with 14 kilos of frozen chlorine in each one of these. At which point, we just uh, drop it on the ground, and it should eventually melt. And when it does... Second. And when that does melt... Where are we? Where did you go, Chlorine? Mm. Yeah, never mind. I can't see it anymore. It appears to be gone. Well, there's 14 kilos. Another 14 kilos of Chlorine. Uh, there we are. 14 kilos of Chlorine. Did that instantly... Oh, wow. That instantly just vaporized. That's why it's been like that. That also did its job so it can go... Hmm. Well, that was much quicker than I thought it would be. Oops. <laughs> right. Well, that was incredibly easy. All I have to do now is get the body temperature up. Uh, they're in the they're in chlorine, but their body temperature has to be 35 or above. Currently, it's 13 or above. Ugh, these space heaters are terribly inefficient. But uh, you know what? I might just throw in a couple more here to get this started. I just want to get these started. So once these are started, we can get the, the rest going. We, we just want to, these to grow so we can get more seeds out of them. And we've got another duplicate lined up. Perfect. Uh... No mouth breathers, no triphobics. Uh, squeamish and mold sounds I can live with. Plus, they've got science and construction, which is always good. So we'll print them out. They do need a name. Also, I need to be able to let them back into the colony. Um, what I've been doing here is briefly letting them back in. So Bahi here should immediately run in. The moment they do, I disable that so they can't get back out again. And they should go in if they need to sleep or do whatever they will. They can. Oh, they can also handle this section. But they can also go down here and start running on these manual generators. I've set these up so that only new people can go in here. Anyone who's been around for a while can't get on the manual generators. I should put a link somewhere on the screen to uh, oh, the duplicate gym or how to make a duplicate gym. I'm just doing this so that these uh, duplicates can end up trained up and skilled up so they're actually useful to me. Uh, for the time being, Joshua, Mima, and ba 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 Bahani, Bani, oh, I'm not, never mind. All three of those are just going to the gym. They're just running on the treadmill and improving their uh, athletics and their mechanical skills. And I won't let them out of there until they've got exo uh, all the way up to astronomy and exosuit training. Once they've got all of those, then we'll let them out because they can at least be of use to the colony. Um, ooh, 
that reminds me. This is Joshua here, and Joshua needs a name. They're good at researching. They're good at digging. Uh, they have noodle arms, no taste, ugly crier, and they're a sticky bomber. We'll spontaneously redecorate a room when they are overjoyed. And remember, it's going to be a superhero-themed name to go with the themes of everyone else here. Or a villain, superhero, supervillain, or even a, a sidekick, you know? Uh, then we've got Mima, who's ranching, farming, operating, uh, unconstructive gourmet buff vomiter, who's super productive when they're overjoyed, which uh, we're going to have to investigate these more. And then, of course, we've got Bahani, who's a uh, researcher building uh, squeamish mole hands, destructive, super productive. So, yeah, give me give me a few names for some of these. Eh, we'll, we'll see what can happen. i got to go into the grab bag. Actually, there's one name I have to apply right now. Uh, this name was submitted by Hyperlink. They've uh, ha- had a baby recently. Congratulations uh, to Hyperlink. And as uh, well as that, the name of the baby is Asher. So we're going to call it uh, Asher Link, I suppose. Yeah, a- a- Asher Link after after the parent. It's, it's like Hyperlink, Asher Link. I-, I think it works. Great. Now you can't escape the name of your child, even when you're watching YouTube videos to escape the uh, the, the childhood you've got to, to deal with. Anyway, um, let's skip this forward a little bit longer. I need to get uh, this in, this up and running. And I need to get the... Then I need to start getting the Drekos moved over. Though, actually, you know what? There's no rush on this. Let's let's go on the side and let's get started on another project. First up, I've decided I am going to fill the entire map with hydrogen at some point or another. So we might as well get started on that now. And yeah, we might as well release this hydrogen from down here. There's no need to keep it trapped anymore. If the plan is going to be to release it, then... Well, yeah, let's release it. Let's let it be free and let all the hydrogen in that vent out of there. As you can see, the hydrogen has been accumulating quite heavily because of that um, hydrogen vent down there. So we'll free this all and it should hopefully start spreading up the map. Uh, just maybe make sure our dupes can still get across, navigate across this area because I think it's blocked off otherwise. Yeah, that, you know what? Let's expand this a bit maybe. Let the hydrogen flow. That should quickly escape out of there and hopefully uh, filter up towards the top of the map and get out of being down here. I, that, I was, it was pushing its way into the oil biome as I got rid of the carbon dioxide. I've been sucking the carbon, or all the gas out of here, all the carbon dioxide out of here, using a couple of gas pumps. I've got one over here in the corner. And uh, what's the gas pressure like over here? It's down to 300 grams. So I've been using this to uh, remove all the carbon dioxide from this area. You can actually see the gas sort of flowing down towards that corner. And I've been dumping all that carbon dioxide into the cryo brick because... Why not? It just goes in there and it immediately just solidifies the moment it pops out the other side. This is kind of handy for disposing of stuff. You have chlorine, dump it in the cryo brick. Carbon dioxide, dump it in the cryo brick. Natural gas, dump it in the cryo brick. Doesn't matter what it is, you just dump it in there and the problem is solved. Sour gas, dump it in the cryo brick. Good way to dispose of gas if you don't do infinite gas storage. You know, I tend to avoid it, so for me this works out really good. Eh, anyway, uh, all of that is done and those plants, yep, still not growing. So next up, we want to get started on, oh no, not the deep dish rocket silo just yet. I think I'm going to make a deep dish rocket silo and put the base of the rocket somewhere around here. Though I might, no, I don't, I want to leave the, the ice biome intact down here. I've got other plans for that later, but we might just start the rocket silo down here and have it launch all the way up here, up the side of the map. The hard part is I have to avoid neutronium. So there's lumps of neutronium up here I can't get past. And the neutronium sticks out a fair bit here and here. So I'll have to be really careful about exactly where I place it so I can make a nice long rocket silo. But, yes, we're hiring more duplicants. We're increasing our, our the amount of duplicants we're going to have, which means I should probably expand the farm just a little bit. This I can do pretty quickly. All I need to do is maybe add on an extra level or three. And, yeah. To do the farm expansion, I'll have to expand the, uh, the pepper nuts as well, which means... I kind of want to put this onto the main grid. Currently, this power is all off. There's lots of ghetto coal generators lying about the place. So what instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the power grid we've got coming all the way from all of these generators down here. I always like to run a, a power spine. It just makes things, it simplifies things a lot. For example, there's a there's the power spine feeding onto to power all of this equipment over here. It just makes things so much simpler. So that's what we're going to do over here. We're going to extend the power spine. But at the same time, we're going to start putting in more transit tube access points. More transit tube access points will just speed up our duplicates moving about the place. So we could say grab one and stick it right there. Uh, let's just write it. Oh. Okay, maybe not exactly there. There looks a little bit better. Uh, another one. Yeah, right there. Why not? Uh, every few levels just put on another one. This means, oh, though I am going to have to move the transit tube. The transit tube is on the right. I want to move it over to the left because well, otherwise I'm going to have to keep crossing over the ladder adder every time I add a, add a transit tube access. So there's going to be a little bit of demolition and a little bit of rejigging of things to get this to work. 
There we go. Little bit of deconstruction to get stuff out of the way. We've had to maybe destroy a few things that, like a natural park, but it's not too bad. Uh, oh, new blueprint. I think we'll go with Camille here. I don't want unconstructive triophobic. I'd rather not have. Irritable bowel is probably the least annoying one, and uh, we'll probably use building. I mean, we'll use some of those stats. Oh, well, immediately I have to let them in. This is kind of annoying. I've never had to just start doing this where I'm letting the dupes in. Normally they start inside my base, which makes things far easier to handle. Where are you going? Did she just go and do a chore? No, 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 no. Inside. Inside right now. And then you're not allowed out again. I, I admire the uh, enthusiasm, but the map's not safe for you out there. You can go down and go uh, run on the treadmills along with the other newbies. Uh, quickly set up your skills as well. They should only take a second. And yeah, straight into advanced research. Damn, Asher and them are hammering through it. The reason I'm putting them straight into research... Uh, for example, Asher here has just gone straight into research because it improves their, have, their skill gain. Early on, I don't recommend getting uh, research for your dupes because normally you can get things you want more like hard digging or improved construction even or grilling or there's usually stats you want to put them in immediately that are, is of immediate benefit to you. But right now I've got most of my needs taken care of. These dupes, I want to get them up and running as fast as possible. So uh, research gives them a little, little bit of a skill bonus and that's a skill gain bonus, which means they'll get their running, their athletics and well, the athletics is the only one I really care about up really quickly, which means they're more likely to be able to run faster and keep up with my other dupes and actually be useful. So for example, Mimo here, her athletics are at four and Asher here has athletics of six. They're doing quite well for being so relatively new. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to finish, uh, have a... I'm going to finish off putting in this little transport grid along the, the center here. We'll add in a few more transport points. Oh, and this is the one This is the one I built a long while back. We should probably finish that and maybe hook up the power to it as well. This was the one I was using as sort of my meter stick is where I was going to put my power grid. Right, I'll finish that off. That should really take another minute or so. There we go. A full-on transport grid built all the way down the left-hand side of the center map. Just plenty of transport points for all of my dupes so that if ever they need to get onto something off they go i'm going to deconstruct the one on the right hand side i don't need anything crossing over um okay, and where was the crossover point i think it was down the very very bottom of the map down here yeah so this we can at least patch up and whoa yeah, wrong place there that's all patched up nice okay and that's plugged into our central power supply grid so that just means we can power the whole thing quite easily you know what? Let's have a quick check on what our power draw is like. That's probably going to just spike it quite a bit due to uh, the amount of... Ooh, yeah, we've gone up to 67. You know what? I might want to stick in a second battery bank just to be on the safe side. Um, What are these things made out of? I don't even know. Did I make these out of lead? Yeah, I made them out of lead. Well, I suppose it's not like they're going to overheat in here. This place is effectively a giant ice box. Yeah, let's, uh, let's throw in an extra battery box and be done with it. That should smooth out any power flow issues I might potentially encounter due to putting in so many transport points. Just uh, this is quite energy and... Oh, I really got to keep a better eye on this. Oh, yeah, do we have any good pawns or do we have an absolutely world-class rancher? You know, I think... I, Yeah, I think that's worth it. Even though they can't construct, I am going to 100% dedicate them towards ranching. So they're a rancher, they're a caregiver, unconstructive, stress reaction is destructive, and their overjoyed response is super destructive. Let's get a name for them. <laughs> name in the comments. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do some naming uh, in the next episode. Okay. Uh, that's Oh, yes, what was the next up? That was it. I want to counteract the massive negative decor that's going to be exposing all my dupes to. Uh, the reason being, if we check here, yeah, that, that, that wire is causing a little bit of a problem. Why is that? Oh, yeah, that's where my space artifacts are. So, next up, I'm thinking statue bombing. Pretty much four of them everywhere where there's uh, any of these. Just throw down four like that. That pretty much counteracts the wire. Well, that's the plan. Let's see how it works out. I won't be able to put them in every single spot, but I should be able to put them in most of the spots and counteract most of the negative decor. I have queued up far, far, far too much building. But we have got started on the statues. So the core of the area, they should be the worst because of all the, the power wiring going through it is actually well, great. The decor here is amazing. Uh, it's not as great as you keep going up because they haven't uh, finished all those statues yet. I have to put in some flooring and uh, the deep has to get around to actually improving the statues. They just gained another level there about a cycle ago, so they're now up to level six, which is kind of impressive. It's very hard to get the art on any pawn or any dupe up very high, but 
that should all be done in a short while, so I think I'll go grab a cup of tea and we'll wait until this is done before we start on our next project. Next up for choices, we've got uh, Abe here. I, I, I don't want the loudsleeper and triophobic unconstructive is a double no-no for me. This one doesn't have anything too amazing going on, but they do have Balloon Artist, which I'm not even sure what that does, but you know what? I want it. So we've got a Night Owl, Grease Monkey, Irritable Bell, Ugly Crier, Balloon Artist with a, a strength for tiding. So any names for that one, just let me know. Um, for the time being, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of cleaning out up here so that this hydrogen vent can uh, properly vent. Also, I might want to let that oxygen out of there. That's just going to cause more and more problems if I don't. So I managed to get that oxygen out of there and also accidentally demolished the whole biome on purpose. Accidentally on purpose, it's fine. Uh, so all of that's gone. Though some of that water has leaked down. There's stuff spilling everywhere. Uh, there's there's huge messes going on here and there. Oh, that uh, this used to actually be a glazier, but I think we're just going to get rid of all that ice. At some point, that's going to melt and cause problems. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of it now, so I don't have to worry about it later. And we'll sweep up all of that gunk there. We don't want any of that uh, getting anywhere. The problem is some of that has actually fallen down here, some of the liquids, and they've gotten down into the oil biome, which has put a nice thin layer of annoyance on top of that. I'll clean it up later once I've finished on the whole map. It's really... Uh, I should have cut off the sides here, maybe put in... Uh, there's plenty of things I could have done to help prevent that from happening again. Uh, just... Mm, my bad. Now, one thing we've already got up and running is I put in a little bit of a... Uh, a cheat here. This system here is set to pick up eggs, or is it uh, critter eggs, dreckless eggs, and glossy dreckos. They go in here and they get shuttled up to this point here. My dupes can't get up here to gain access to it, so effectively all my excess eggs are ending up in here. And if you'll notice, there's a lot of shearing going on in here. The reason being, say, take this this dreco here, at age 9, scale growth 100%, its scales are 100% grown. Uh, it's probably, hopefully not for long, it should get shorn. But uh, it's pretty much the same with all of them. Any of them here... Oh, skill growth here. 33% growth rate of their cycle. Even though they're overcrowded, even though they're cramped, even though they're glum, it has absolutely no effect on their scale growth. So what I'm doing is taking the excess, dumping them in here. Their calories will last them quite a long time, especially because their metabolism is reduced by 80%. So their starting metabolism should get them to about 33 years of age. And from 5 to 33, they will regrow their scales once every three cycles, which means I can get lots and lots of shearings out of them, and it costs me, well... Nothing. I'm, I'm effectively taking what was this box over here and filling it with hydrogen so that I can do more shearing. That's why I've got four shearing stations up. It's going to get pretty crazy once I get more of these r running up, well, up and running. Uh, as for the bam lilies, I have not managed to find a way to get more of them. Well, I got one out of the gate. I got another seed out of the gate. None of them have actually provided any seeds when they've been harvested, and only one dupe is allowed to harvest them right now. They have the highest farming skill of all of my pawns. I think it's about... Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Who is it? Ah, yes. Steven Universe has an agriculture of ten. I've put them, I've assigned them as the only dupe who's allowed to do farming, and yet they still cannot manage to get me any more seeds. I need more seeds so I can fill this out. I need... Ah, uh, three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. I need thirteen more bam lilies before I can finish this section off. It's all preheated. Everything in here is nice and toasty. I even vacuumed out this area in the middle with a gas pump. This whole place is ready to go. I just need some more bam lily seeds and I can demolish all of this. Yeah, well, that's all done. Power spine's in place. I'm going to uh, maybe grab another couple of cup of tea while I wait for all of this sweeping to be done. Once that's all done, it's time to expand the farming area. All tidy, all clean, all done. And that hydrogen cloud is spreading. It's, it's glorious. Soon the entire top of the map will be filled with it. But anyway, uh, yes, food. What I need to do is... Oop, expand out my farms. I need about, well, twice as much farming space. So it's time to do a little bit more digging. The kind of digging that results in us having a lot more sweeping to do because of all the digging we just did. But once all the sweeping is done, then we can get around to putting in some farms. After I've placed in lots of farms and lots of farm tiles and all the sort of stuff I need to make sure that the pips plant in the correct order and left myself a, a two tile gap just in case, I want to make sure I can put in plenty of farms just to I've got to go from top right to bottom left, basically. However, I've forgotten something. Because I always forget something. Because I'm because if I didn't forget something, it wouldn't be me now, would it? And that is uh, sleetweed grain. I don't have any sleetweed grain to plant because I've been turning all my sleetweed grain into sleetweed bread. So I've turned off the... Um, I've turned off that. Actually, you know what? I should turn off the recipe as well to stop them dragging pepper bread down here. So I'll turn off the pepper bread for a bit. It's okay. We got 8 million calories of this stuff. And I've still got everyone eating barbecue. <laughs> Where is it? 
I think, yeah, I think everyone's still set to only eat barbecue. They can't even touch the pepper bread yet. I should maybe let them on that at some point, but yeah, we're, we'll be fine for the moment. Anyway, uh, we'll skip this forward a bit while we get the farming prep done. And the planting continues. This is, uh, yeah, is it? I don't mind that uh, pips were introduced. It just uh, seems that because of their introduction, we're now, well, not forced. It's just if you want to be really efficient about your food farming, just wild farming is the best. It beats everything else out. It's just a little bit time consuming to make sure that everything gets planted in the correct order. And uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just something you have to live with now. So I'm going to be spending the next ooh, hour or so doing this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, oh, and as well as that, I'm going to have to extend this down here, aren't I? I'm going to have to increase the size of my peppernut farm as well. But all this has been going on, I've uh, also maybe expanded the, little, the base a bit. All I did was I just uh, chucked on a couple of extra stories, sealed it up, and now I'm opening it up from the inside. Just uh, an easy way to expand things out. You know what, let's uh, increase that there. Anyway, so I can get in some more bedrooms. I'm almost up to 30, well, I can hold 32 duplicates. I had to expand and put it in a second uh, mess, tape, mess hall just because of... Oh, I was running out of space. And, oh, dear Lord. Barbecue's still there. Little bits of it just lying on the ground going off. Why? Why did they do that? Uh, never mind, never mind. Uh, oh, yes. Still. Still going to expand this on a bit and still installing uh, wheat as I go. More farm expansion completed. This will be where the pinch of pepper nuts go. Uh, of course, there's been some minor complications. I had to extend the cooling loops, which... Or the heating loop, I should say. So that's slowly starting to warm up. It did uh, stifle my crops in here a little bit, but... Nothing major. We'll, we'll sort that out in due course. Up here, things getting more and more interesting. For one, I lost a bunch of, uh, what do you call them, pips. Uh, the reason being, it turns out they don't like temperatures below minus 30. Unfortunately, there's hydrogen in here, and it seems it's it's pretty conductive. So I think I'm going to migrate them all out of here until I can uh, get the temperature changed. The reason it didn't happen before was because there was only oxygen in there. It's all the excess hydrogen I'm dumping in. That hydrogen is a better... Uh, conductor so it's conducting the uh, the temperature into them better which is why a few of them froze to death oops um also as well as that uh yeah sleet wheat doesn't grow in hydrogen so i'm going to have to vacuum that all out as well that should not be a problem we'll just put in a few gas pumps and get that out of there just yeah all the little minor things that i forget because uh yeah because i don't really pay that much pay as much attention as i should to deal with the hydrogen Quick gas pump, quick gas filter. Now, I'm not going to filter at the hydrogen. I'm going to filter at everything that's not oxygen. Uh, I'm just going to fill this room entirely with oxygen. I mean, it's not great for keeping the plants and all that, but uh, maybe carbon dioxide would be better. But uh, I want a nice color palette when I'm finished up here. So pink with some blue oxygen works for me. Plus, it's just more convenient. I've got more oxygen lying around the place. Though I suppose I could set off a carbon dioxide bomb in here. I mean, dump in like... 50, 100 tons of carbon dioxide in solid form and then just warm it up until it explodes and populates the whole place with gas. Entertaining, but no. Maybe later. Maybe later. Um, yeah, for the time being, that gas is going to get... Uh, all the gas that's not oxygen will get dumped over there. The rest of it that is oxygen will get built, sent down this gas pipe down here and dumped into the corner. There we go. This farm, which has grown far too large, is now... All the gas is getting sucked out that direction. We'll just uh, dump out all the hydrogen. That will start our crops growing again. Uh, I might want to actually take a quick pause on this. And the reason being, I do need to do some other expansions. I really wanted to get started on the deep dish rocket saddle, but yeah, the reason uh, I took on lots of extra dupes and because I'm doing that, I need to put in lots of extra infrastructure, namely the food, but I also have to do up the oxygen. Uh, the reason being, this can only support about 30 duplicates, maybe a little bit less. Oh, and uh, I added some oxygen vents here to drop oxygen off into the base because it was getting a little... Uh, the air got a little thin in here. I never put it, put in uh, the oxygen pipes in here or the gas vents in here to let drop oxygen off. As you can see, all our dupes are running like crazy, so they're all improving their skills. You know what? Let's check it out. Maybe it's time for some promotions. Asher is ready to be let out. They've got 22 athletics, which means they've maxed out. We'll just have to pick them a specialization. We'll, we'll go straight into mechatronics just because we'll probably put them into hard digging, though there's not really much left on the map to dig out. Yeah, Mimo, also ready to go. She's got 22 athletics, uh, straight into mechatronics engineers. Also, Baha, Bani, Bahi, whatever. Uh, yeah, same. Oh, she's not quite ready to get mechatronics engineer, but she does have 22 athletics, so out the door. Camille, 21 athletics. You know what? Close enough. Uh, mechatronics engineer for you as well. Mechatronics engineer for everyone, I think. Uh, Nisbet. You know what? Yeah, you've got exosuit training. You've got a couple of points. We'll put you into electronic engineering. And Abe, Abe, you've got 23 athletics. 
Well, you've probably got twinkle toes or something. That's why you're so good. Uh, yeah, we'll give you some improved tinkering. We'll put you into mechatronics engineer as well. Turner, oh, no, 20 athletics. Ooh, you know what? But you've got no skill points. We'll just we'll, we'll just leave it as it is. Uh, we'll come back to you once you've got a little bit more running on the wheel behind you. Oh, you, you also need a hat. You're, anyone who gets up to exosuit training, I stick a hat on them just so I know that they're ready to be let out if needs be. I mean, I could theoretically let everyone out who's got exosuit training completed. They wouldn't be that big of a, uh, a downside to the colony, but uh, for the time being, I'm just going to only let out a few and uh, keep the numbers tight. Oh, and uh, new printable available. Let's see who's up. Travaldo over here looks pretty promising. Don't really care about the Mulhans, but they've got science. We're all always going to be getting research, so that saves us three points of uh, three morale points. So, oh, better make sure I let the, I remember to let them in. I have made a few mistakes, minor mistakes along the way. Oh, there's Travaldo. I accidentally forgot to let in a few duplicates sometimes and they got stuck outside the base and then they got hypothermia and they started complaining about too hot or too cold or, well, okay, mostly too cold. But, remembered most of them from now on. Hey. I will continue working on the farming. I will continue vacuuming about that, but I think the next project I need to get done is I need to put in a second electrolyzer. The reason being, we're up to 30 dupes and a full Rodriguez will only support 30, so I need to stick in a second one right about there. I think I'm running out of time. Yeah. Also, I've realized to get a... Even after I've done this and I've finished the food, I'm still going to need super coolant. I need super coolant so I can do the, uh, the heat extraction for the giant rocket silo. So that means I'm going to need to go back to space. And to go back to space, I'm going to need to build more rockets, which means I'm probably going to need to put in some uh, actual bunker doors this time and do space properly. So it's probably going to be a couple of episodes before I can get around to the deep dish rocket silo, which... Mm. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think I'll cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed my uh, continued struggles to expand, expand, and expand some more. Oh, and uh, yeah, this is not quite finished yet. No matter what I do, I still can't seem to get my hands enough bam lilies. I just need six more and I can uh, open this up. Though, just have a look at the amount of plastic that's accumulated here, just just from this little setup. That's, uh, oh, no, that's only 1,100 kilos. What, where have we got for plastic? There is 20, 24.9 tons of plastic right there. Uh, what have we got over here? Oh, too many glossy dracos to count. Damn it. Okay, plastic, 10,000 kilos. Where is it? One second. Plastic. 24.9 tons of plastic there as well. I'm pretty sure up here we're going to find lots more plastic also. Uh, ah, there we go. Plastic, 24.8 tons. Each one of these has produced at least 25 tons of plastic apiece. And it's, it's not like I'm really trying very hard with this setup yet, and I haven't even migrated it from this boring little setup over here. Though at the same time, it's also generated a fair bit of reed fiber. Yeah, this uh, this worked out quite nicely. I quite enjoyed it. Before I finish this off, though, I should probably point out how I'm letting the uh, the dupes out of the gym. Just uh, for people who haven't seen it before, all I've done is I've uh, I've blocked them from being able to... Oh, that was sloppy of me. I blocked them from getting in or out, so if any of them are stuck in there, uh, I uh, effectively changed this so now they can only get out of the gym. They can't get back in anymore. And then I went to the doors over here. And if you'll see on these doors, I've changed it so they now have access to go in and out. So Mima, ba Bahi, Camille, Nesbit, Abe, all of them have been allowed access in and out on the doors. And I've copied that and pasted that to all three of the door sections. So they're just able to now get in and out. So now they can get out of the gym, but can't get back in again. Uh, just a, a nice little way to make sure that they all get trained up and they're now productive members of the colony. Oh, and this has been filled with uh, Atmos suits, so they at least have suits they can get in and out on. And why is no one doing anything? Oh, yeah, I haven't queued up a bunch of stuff yet. Anyway, anyway no, I'll cut this out here. I need to do, uh, I need to throw in a second electrolyzer right there. And once I, uh, I've done that, I've got a few other little projects. But uh, I think when we cut back in, it'll be uh, straight into space next, and we'll be putting in uh, our space setup. Hope you enjoyed my uh, continued attempts not to make mistakes and failing to do so miserably. And uh, good luck.